it's been hot. So the question always is, when it's super hot outside and we're talking real feel of 100 plus, you know, you get into 95 degree days, you add on the humidity and everything else, it gets baking, especially this time of year, mid end of July going into August, it's just gonna get even hotter. So a lot of times it can be a little bit challenging to decide what to wear, what's gonna work in this temperature, what isn't going to work, what's gonna be annoying, what's gonna smell good and refreshing. And so what I ended up doing was I kept track of what I wore um, just for a, a mid-July rotation here. I normally don't do these weekly fragrance rotations. It's kind of sporadic when I do them, right? But I figured maybe some people will be interested to see what I wear when it's just ridiculously hot outside. And so I wrote all this stuff down, I kept track, and this is what I wore uh, when it was just blazing hot a week or two ago. Okay, we're gonna get this one kicked off with first saying, actually hold up, that I will link these down below to discounters. I was getting ahead of myself there. You guys know the drill, discount prices, the links below equals save money. And another thing that saves you a lot of money is the community tab on my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, let's say you don't even care about these videos, but you just wanna save money and buy fragrances, still subscribe, so that way you at least have a fighting chance of seeing those community posts show up in your feed so you can take advantage of those deals. Um, make it a habit to check the community tab a couple times a day, a lot of times throughout the day, I'll post multiple deals. Um, so make sure you do that. You know, I post restocks on rare items, I post price drops, I just really try to bring you guys the best possible prices and some of the best deals you can get. So make sure you go over there and hover around that tab and, and check in often. And now back to what I was saying. We're gonna kick the week off with Aqua de Joe Profondo, orange, mineral notes, um, you got aquatic notes, sea notes, all that stuff. Uh, this is just really the most interesting aquatic I've, I think I've ever smelled. And uh, that's saying something. Now I'm not saying that it's my absolute favorite aquatic. It, it's tough, right? It's definitely up there, but that that's really hard to put, uh, you know, a, a label on my absolute favorite all time because there's a lot that I really really like, and I would probably never be able to choose an absolute favorite. Uh, this is definitely in the conversation, but I am saying that it's the most unique interesting aquatic at least that's been released within the past several years and at least on the designer side you can get into some niche stuff that for sure is going to be very interesting but not to everybody you know this is interesting to a fragrance enthusiast but also to the people out there in the real world you get this mineral note kind of mineral water smell it really is oceanic it smells like the ocean rocks the waves coming up and hitting those it's just very much a summertime scent a happy playful fun in the sun, summer scent, and it works great in the high heat. You don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna go sour on you. It just smells great, and for me, I think it gets better when it's scorching hot outside. It really opens up and develops. This one never lets me down in the heat. Next up, we have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love. So this one's got notes of bergamot, it's got grapefruit, musk, violet leaf, uh, ozonic notes, uh, a little bit of uh, like a woods vetiver in here in the very far dry down. So you may ask, what is the difference between this and forever? And basically the main thing is, is that Italian Love introduces some more bergamot as a, a supplemental note to that grapefruit. So you still get a lot of grapefruit, right? Opens up very strong, but the bergamot really helps to balance it out, you know, because in forever, it's pretty much straight up grapefruit right off the top, very rindy, very sour. And uh, for a lot of people, it can be off-putting. This one does a little bit of a, a job to balance it out, still not fully, you're still hitting hard with the grapefruit, but it does a good job there. And then pretty much from that point on, it's you know very similar to light blue forever, but still just a little bit more mass pleasing and, and likable overall, I guess. Now, uh, what's interesting is that Italian Love is actually a limited edition. So hit the link down below, second link, get this for about $62 for 100 mil, bit of a discount there, and uh, get it while you can. Again, they're not gonna produce it for long because Light Blue Forever has already been discontinued. Didn't take long. And so uh, this is a DNA that is really something different for the summertime. And if you have any sort of interest, I wouldn't wait around. Really, we don't even know if this is gonna be around and fully available next summer. We really don't. I hope it is, but I really, with the way the community is, it wouldn't surprise me, so get in while you can. 
Next up, Old Faithful, the old giant 200 mil of Versace Pour Ohm. You guys know the, the note breakdown. It's got lemon, neroli, musk, minor woods, bergamot. Uh, it's creamy, but also bright and fresh and absolutely amazing. I mean, this is one of the most likable and wearable men's fragrances ever created came out in 2008 okay and that's really not that long ago in the grand scheme of things really uh, but still it's doing well and it always will this is a type of dna that will never smell old will never go out of style the only issue is performance it's a little bit lackluster but you can spray this one heavily i mean you can get a hundred mil bottle for forty dollars these 200 mils probably i think for mid 60s so it's price per mil wise this is going to be the way to go if you intend on wearing it a lot and again you can apply it heavily really douse yourself and from that point especially in the heat you're going to get really good projection out of it and it's just a scent that never lets me down in the heat in the hottest of hot days if i need something that's going to be refreshing and that's going to hold up i choose versace pour Homme and it always works Next up, Dunhill Amalfi Citrus. So this one here has lemon, bergamot, and green tea, just to name a few of the notes. Uh, what about that bottle, right? Very, very sharp looking. So, you know, they are sticking with the Dunhill Icon style bottles. You get that uh, hefty cap and bottle overall. Clicks into place really nicely. The only difference is here, of course, this is glass that you can see through, see your level, see the coloration of the scent, and uh, just a nice tweak on the on the presentation, but still very familiar. And this is really, really nice. It's a nice mild tea scent with uh, some florals and a bunch of citrus, right? Another one that's just super fresh, super uplifting. You literally cannot offend anyone with this and you just can't go wrong with it. Wear it in the heat, it's gonna open up and smell even better, and it's not gonna let you down. Um, you can get this one for, I wanna say, $68, $70 online, uh, which is a good deal. You know, the quality of this one is on par with other fragrances in this price range. Uh, very admirable stuff here, and you don't hear too much about it. Next, we have a, a new release, technically, this year. It's Dior Homme Sport 2021, although, you know, at least here in the U.S., it was released this year. Uh, now, this one here is going to have lemon, aldehyde, elemi, and pink pepper is some of the main notes. So, what they pride themselves with this one here is the lemon. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the description says, but they're really proud of their lemon note. And they should be, it's a really nice lemon. It's very impactful. And the way I describe this one, I believe in my first impressions, is that it smells like, or conjures up the image of uh, the, the bright sun coming through the clouds. Like as the clouds move out of the way, and the sun is shining through, you know, on a nice summer day. That's kind of how the lemon in this one just punches through, you know, with the aldehydes in here, uh, with the elemi kind of giving it a little bit of a, a slightly resinous, woody support and that sort of thing. Pink pepper giving it a spiciness. You know, one thing that this does have is a mature aspect. Uh, it doesn't have a playful or youthful smell. It's not your typical boring sport fragrance. This is a sport fragrance with purpose, with maturity, and uh, a little bit of an elegance to it. And uh, at least in terms of what they've released the past few times, uh, I really like this one a lot. Uh, 2017, I could throw away. The 2012 was great, the 2008 was great, but this here, might be one of their best pieces of work in that line. Great, great stuff. Running down to the end of the week here, we have Lacoste 1212 Blanc Eau Fresh. Uh, so this one, I believe, also did come out this year at the very beginning of the year, uh, which is kind of a weird time, you know, for us in the U.S. It was uh, by the time it finally came to market. Um, this one here has, uh, let's see, grapefruit, ginger, juniper, and ambroxan is some of the main notes. So. Uh, you can go back and watch my first impressions. I liked it off the bat. I still do like it. But one of the things I said in that video, or at least I'm pretty sure I did, I would be shocked if I didn't say this, is that I, I liked it, but at retail price, it, you know, it, it's just kind of up there. But once this hit discounters, I was like, yeah, this is really going to be a hit. And well, that time has come. Uh, we are at the point where this one has now landed on a, a 
couple discounters or so for a price well below retail. I want to say $40 is where it's sitting now for 100 mil, which is fantastic. And it'll continue to drop a little bit more. And at that price, you literally really can't go wrong with it. It's very refreshing and bright. And I find it to be of much higher quality than a lot of the other Lacoste fresh fragrances in this line. Some of those I find to actually be a little bit synthetic and uh, they some of them just didn't work with me that well. Um, but this one here is smooth, it's kind of silky and there's a little bit more depth than some of the others. And I think this here is a really, really good flanker. Very crisp and bright. And now that you can get it for a discount, it is definitely worth picking up. And to finish the week off, I ended up going with Chanel Allure Home Sport cologne sport now this is where it gets confusing i gotta cover this bottle up because my face is gonna look very very startling this is where it gets confusing it's cologne sport but now if you buy it on chanel's website it is just cologne okay um i don't know what their reasoning behind this was I don't know why they made it cologne sport in the beginning because it's, oh, hey, what are you wearing? Oh, hey, thanks, I'm wearing Chanel Allure Home Sport cologne sport. People are just gonna get lost after the first two words anyway and it's just kind of weird. I don't understand that. So I guess maybe they thought the same thing and they changed it. So uh, if you're looking for this one, don't freak out. Uh, just get the new one, the one that says cologne. They're the same, okay? Um, it's also weird because the coloration is significantly different. This one here is quite yellow, this one's clear. I've got another bottle of this as well, which also has a little bit of a tint to it as well. This is an older bottle. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I uh, wore this one for the last day of the week. It's got lemon, orange, fur resin, um, also has aldehydes, also has LME, kind of like the Dior Homme Sport, although it smells nothing like that one, which is funny how that works. Uh, it's always gotten compared to a Dior Homme Cologne. And the more I smell this, the less I agree with that. It's weird, in the beginning I was like, oh yeah, Durum Cologne, yeah, exactly the same, wow. And that's part of the kind of mindset that is easy to develop, and I'm guilty of it as well, especially when I was first starting out, not so much now, of just seeing something somewhere, seeing a review of someone saying this, and then you latch onto that idea, and then now you make that your own. You know, and that can spread and it gets to the point where everyone says this smells like that or whatever. When in reality, it, it might not as much as people say. You might be getting led on to think that. Uh, most recently, Missoni Parfum. You have a couple maybe more authority figures say that it's a Blue de Chanel clone straight up and it smells so similar to Blue de Chanel. But then when you actually step back from that ideology and you smell Missoni Parfum and compare it to Blue de Chanel, it's quite different. I mean, really, do that. Go check it out because I did a video recently and everyone was like, oh, the Missoni's way closer. It's really not. And after I did that and saw those comments, I went and smelled both again. And I'm like, I don't get it, guys. Missoni Parfum. Uh, but anyway, you know, off topic, but Chanel Le Rome Sport Cologne, really, really nice scent. The difference between this and the Dior is this one just has a bit more going on. The Dior has three notes and it's very easy to believe. It's pretty bare bones. This one you're getting the wood, some aldehydes, some resins in here, so it's a little bit more green and aromatic. More interesting, so to speak. But the Dior is also a top-notch scent that has more of a uh, iced, sweet lemonade smell. Regardless, I was just feeling this one, so I wore it. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. My mid-week of July fragrance rotation for when it was just scorching hot outside. So hopefully you guys are staying cool. Hopefully you're staying safe and healthy and hopefully you're uh, enjoying your fragrances. Again, make sure you get subscribed, check my community tab, hit the links down below, get these for a discount. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and again, stay healthy please. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.